Last week, we brought you the greatest victory in the history of televised card gambling mayhem. Five men looking with disgust at each other as their women look on in envy from the sidelines. It's like a sixth grade circle jerk, Malcolm. Hey, that's right. And with that, welcome back to the Venturas Poker Challenge in association with Cerveza Baracho. Because when you've got a full house, it's playtime! And E. Cola, because gambling is deliciously infectious. I'm Malcolm Fitzherbert. And I'm Troy Berger. Uh, Troy, this is the biggest payday in sports, next to convincing a city to give you a stadium and land tax-free. Or when your city gets the Olympics. Oh, that's right. I mean, seriously, what can you say about what we've seen so far? Well, Malcolm, it's been a real... Well, what I'm... I'm just at a loss for words. Yeah. I mean, seriously, it is just a tough time describing this. And, you know, I am paid to avoid uncomfortable silences. Well, it, it's been truly remarkable. This is entertainment at its finest. This is sport at its best. This is human drama at its most humane and dramatic. I'm sure Chris Cummings is going home a millionaire. And you know how he did it? By day after day, risking his future, betting on a whim, putting everything he owned on the line for a lie. If that's not a metaphor for life, I don't know what is. Chris moved here from San Fierro, says he likes moving to a desert with a faceless suburb stretch on for a hundred miles. You can get a McMansion, cheap, and there won't be any water left in five years. <laughs> well, you said it, Malcolm. Okay, just minutes ago, cocksure Chris Cummings pulled a bluff on Ace's high fruit loop and sent the whole place insane! Lunacy! Five people died! Bet it all, don't play it safe, and go home a winner. Wow, the Poker Dome rules. Guys covered with logos wearing sunglasses indoors. I mean, these athletes are incredible. They're here for one thing, to win a shiny bracelet that says they're number one. Call it honky bling, but every man wants it. You know, every time I see Steve Buffet Karjabowicz play, I am amazed at the agility of the man. I am terrified of the wisdom, and I am fascinated by the bubbling undercurrent of sexuality. What? Uh, can you take your hand off my leg? What I guess I'm saying is, uh, when that man rides the river, that river knows it's been ridden. The Venturas Poker Challenge! Hey, wait, 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 he's thinking. What's Jebowitz going to do? What's in store for the buffet car? I am not sure. Uh, you think he's got pocket rockets? Because, you know, pocket rockets take out a pair of whores. Oh, they sure do, Troy. Man, I'm so excited I could pee! Now, keep quiet. Oh, sorry. Um, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Cummings is looking at his cards. This is a huge moment. Unbelievably Ooh. big. That man is all about the flop. Oh, fantastic. Ooh. I cannot believe that. Wow. He's folded. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You just saw history here tonight. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> the crowds are going ballistic here in the desert. Hey, that's what it's all about. That and smoking and drinking yourself into an early grave. Hey, let's take a quick break. This break is brought to you by Sprunk, because commercials are the essence of life. And Cherenkov, because commercials warm you to the core. Uh-oh, here comes Michael Graves with more of his negative attack ads. But let's stick to the facts and move past these pathetic politics of division and swift boating. Fact. Michael Graves spent taxpayer money on a vacation home in the Philippines where young boys speak in lisps and don't wear pants. Michael Graves says he supports family values, but his wife is a harlot and has aborted five children. Maybe Michael Graves has forgotten the tragic events a few years ago, but we haven't. He wants to end the war on terror and make America and your children vulnerable to terrorists, much like those little boys are vulnerable to him. You have a choice come election day. Choose freedom for your state. Vote John Hunter for governor. The future depends on you making the right decision. A special night, a special man. Coming in three weeks, it's the Crow Reunion in Iran. Whoa, this is more exciting than chatting with a teen girl online. I'm completely engorged. Welcome back to the Venturas Poker Challenge. 
Uh, while you were away, you missed something ridiculous. The poker gods were smiling on dangerous Derek Thornton just now. He took the sport in a whole new direction. Yeah, that's right. Earlier, we spoke with Derek, and he said his typical day, he wakes up around 3 p.m., plays poker online for a few hours, goes to the bar with friends, comes home ass-faced, and does the whole thing again the next day. He's never read a book. Seeing that, people from around the country have flocked here to come and train for this sport. You know, Troy, what we're doing here is illegal in most states of the Union. But what happens in Las Venturas stays in Las Venturas, except when you're donating blood or semen to fuel a poker addiction. But before we forget, this section of the show is presented in association with Release Gum. Because you chew, you suck, then pow, life has shot a load in your mouth. And Pill Farm, because when the cards go against you, it's time to swallow, and it's good for you. You know, I don't know about you, Malcolm, but I am just amazed at the endurance of these serious athletes. We've been playing for hours now and no sign of fatigue. Oh, that's absolutely right, Troy. 21-year-old Butch Roberts, former manager of Rusty Brown's Ring Donuts, may now win a bracelet here tonight and be able to buy himself a whole chain of donut shops to be run by foreigners because we're too lazy. Exactly. It's the fitness level of our biggest stars that make poker the incredible sport it has become. Example, Jennifer Trashcan Zelensky. She's been sitting there for hours now and no sign of tiredness. A cosmetics clerk from Nebraska, she's barren and instead has adopted eight children from Venezuela, all of whom are here tonight, except for her adopted son, Jimmy, who is gay. Well, she's one tough lady. I bet her pants smell like daisies. And how? Uh, wait, she's going to put it all in, just like she's seen a pair of cowboys to ride. I tell you, that last round, she won it with a handful of doggy balls. Oh, she sure did. Those eights will kill you. Terry Kim, the destroyer, he has not budged. Fit as a fiddle. The guy smokes three packs of Redwoods, drinks a cocktail every five minutes, but still, he keeps on coming relentless. I mean, that kind of luck is what a serious training program can do to you. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're not men. They are not women. No. They are gods. His wife and mistress both looking on from the sidelines. Hey, wait. Oh, my God! Oh, mercy! Remember the date. Remember the time. Remember where you were sitting when you saw this. And for those new to our sport, where have you been? It is all on this next three cards. Or the one after. Or the one after that. Yes, it, it's ridiculous. Uh, we've had it all here tonight. Quite, uh, qu quite amazing. It's a three! It's a three! It's a three! <laughs> Amazing! That doesn't help anyone. Oh, next card is coming up. Oh, <laughs> this tension is killing me. Me too. Uh, man, watching other people play cards is so exciting. Yes. Uh, uh, Terry Kim has such a poker face. The pros at this sport measure themselves as to how many chips they have right now. It's like a whorehouse. You can be dealt something that you carry with you all your life. After seeing this, I don't need to live anyway because I have seen it all tonight. You know, I have a small pair, but I talk a good game. Ooh, here comes the turn. It, it, it's, 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 oh, oh, wow. oh my wow. God. Wow. It's the nine of clubs. <laughs> you know, he could have gotten an ace or a queen. Oh, yeah, he sure could have. Or even a, a seven or a two. Oh, true, true. Uh, but the devil wears nines tonight. Mm. <laughs> it's nine steps to heaven for Phil Dead Man Davidson if he gets the next card. That's right. It's all in the river. Oh, this this is what we live for. Wow, luck has really shined on cocksure Chris Cummings. The rest of these guys should really think about killing themselves because when you lose at poker on TV, life is the pits. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, my God. And that's all we have time for here in Venturas. This has been a Jeremiah TV production in association with Shark Credit Cards because this show has been extortionate value and love me because we've made you whole again. For all of us at the Venturas Poker Challenge, bet it all, don't play it safe, and go home a winner. <laughs>